probably the most important building in the valley. You go into the bakery, you see that you, I, can, I can get bread. Then you have the tailor, where the tailor will build some socks for now. Hello guys and welcome to Everdale. In this episode we'll go through the valley, probably the most important aspect of the game. Okay, so it's probably day three or four of my adventure in Everdale and my town looks neat. I'm part of the Rod team um, valley and we're gonna go through the basics of the valley, what you need to understand about the valley, how you can get gold and how you can get appreciation and lastly become the leader of your own valley. Let's move to the valley. All you have to do either is press this button over here in the right hand side, bottom side, it takes you to the valley or if you want to be if you want to see a nice graphic just zoom out zoom out zoom out now the trees are becoming bigger the houses are becoming bigger and we are in the valley of course the valley is made out of 10 people at the moment so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and one is one free spot for the valley called Rad's team. Rad is our leader right now i'm on position five and i have 354 Hearts, if you want to know what hearts is, stay until the end of the episode. We will show, I will tell you it's the, probably the most important ranking system inside the valley. Okay, let's go through the valley a little bit. You see there are a lot of um, towns. So all the members of the valley have their own cities. We have Rad, we have Della, we have Most Wanted. We have myself, we have, um, I cannot really pronounce this name. Then we have a nice river on which two boats, currently there's only one boat, but two boats, We'll dock from time to time, then we have some other towns and we have some buildings. Each of these buildings are, um, of, we can interact with it, we can raise the level of the building by supporting the valley with resources and with gold. But let's start from the beginning. Probably the most important building in the valley is the Great Library, on which you can see the progress that the valley has made with regard to new updates, uh, new buildings, new things to do for the valley. So you can see here we have unlocked the wheat field, we can unlock the bakery, we can unlock, uh, we can, uh, we leveled up the tailor, we have the potion maker, and now we are working on the grand monument. For the grand monument to be completed, we need 650 uh, culture books, 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 sorry, books. And you can earn more books by completing science shipping orders at the harbor. Let's go to the harbor. As you can see here, I have only one boat. It's purple, same color as the Great Library, which means that this is a culture boat. And it has currently 18 tasks, out of which only 11 are made. So what you do as a responsible person in the valley as I am, and you want to get your ranks upgraded a little bit, you go here, you tap the, the culture boat, and you try to finalize some tasks. And you have three task tokens. You can make three tasks and they refresh and they refill from time to time. As I'm doing right now, so I, for example, want to trade the bread. I want to trade four bread so that we get 41 uh, books and I get 14 loves, prestige, reputation. So as I do that, I complete it. You can see that my task tokens has been reduced to uh, two out of three. And now let's see if I can help with anything else. This I don't have, this I have, I have six flower, I do that, I completed it, and now uh, I get more love, more prestige for me. And I still have room for one task, so I have one task token, but unfortunately I don't feel like I can help with anything else because I don't have bread, I don't really have uh, wool, and I definitely don't have berry pie. But how can you get those in the buildings? Okay, but let's see what our progress has done to the research. So as you can see here, the Grand Monument has been uh, finally researched and you can see this in the chat, Great Monument Research. Once the building has started, we can support the building. For example, here we are working on a cotton field and for the cotton field to be completed, we need to do some tasks. Unfortunately, gold is very hard to get in this game, so I cannot afford to spend gold right now on the building and as you can see, my teammates, my, my, my valley mates have done pretty much the same. So they completed uh, requests for uh, clay, they completed requests for lumber, but not for gold. Probably um, in a few days this will be completed as well. And then we can go on the cotton field and do something. I have no idea what, but we will upgrade you with all the information you need to know in the future episodes. Oh, you can see already the Grand Monument. 
building has started and I can already take over some tasks. By the way, you don't have to fill the task right then, but what you can do is go here, tap a task, take task, and now the task is blocked for you. This is something that you can do, but please don't do that uh, to the extent that you take a task and then you go offline for a couple of hours because then the task will be blocked. It's saved for you. So please keep that in mind, be a good uh, team member. Okay, going back to the, to the goods, you need to complete the tasks. So for example, here I need bread, I need pies, I need flour. Oh, I can actually give flour. So I gave flour and now I get more prestige. Prestige puts me now on position four out of, um, out of all the, the members of the valley. And I will tell you what ranking does for the game at the end of the episode. Okay, so you see all these buildings, they can be used to provide goods. Already the bakery, you go into the bakery, you see that you, I, can, I can get bread and I can get berry pie. Of course, there's a queue. So now Rad is building some bread and I want a berry pie, for example. And I say make and I'm in the queue. So after Rad finishes his bread, then Shikarikita will finish his or her bread and then my pie is up. Unfortunately, I cannot get more than one uh, item on the queue and in order to unlock more, I need to gather more reputation. Then you have the tailor, where the tailor will build some socks for now. Trousers after you unlock them in your personal town library. Okay, so I want to make some socks. I'm again in the queue. And then you have these other two buildings which will provide wheat and which will provide sheep pasture, so it will provide wool. For these ones, you have to assign a villager that will go away from your town. For example, this guy here, Noah, I see he's not really doing anything uh, because he doesn't have food. So if I would like to assign him to get a wool for me, I would click on Noah and Noah will be out of town getting wool for me. It will take two hours to get wool and uh, to get uh, wheat, it takes six hours. That's the basics of the um, that's the basics of the valley. If you wanna know what you can do into the valley at any time, you go here into the chat and you see the things that are ongoing, um, and you go directly into those things and check whether you, if you can help or not with some tasks. Okay, that's the valley. Let's go to our city and see what I've been doing in the last in the past two days. Oh, almost forgot. The potion maker, here you can create potions that will, for example, uh, allow your citizens to work for three hours without having to eat. That's massive advantage. And it costs you some of these uh, things that you can get from the merchant. Let's get to the merchant. So the town, What's, what did I do in the last days? I got now four villagers, uh, all of them having blue roofs at the house because I, I love blue. I have two of these pumpkin patches on which people can work and get soup. I will do that right away, right away, right now, because people do not have food. And if they don't have food, they can't eat. And if they don't eat, they cannot work. Actually, you cannot really starve your citizens and then expect them to work, right? So uh, let's see um, what else. So I have the village treasury, which gives me uh, a lot more room to gather gold. But unfortunately, I only have 226 gold out of 4,000, so that's not pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Then I have the library, it's on the process of upgrading to a, to a new level, which means that soon I will be able to build more buildings, but for that I need gold. How to get gold? You go to the trader, and the trader up here has some things that they need from you. So if I tap the, the bread here, I give him the bread and it gives me $46, uh, sorry, gold. I give him a sock. 73 gold. I give him another sock, 73 gold. I give him six eggs and it gives me these things that I will use for potions. I give him nine lumber and it gives me uh, broccoli or something. I give him figurines. Well, I'm lucky now that I saved a lot of items for me to show you how you can actually uh, trade and get gold. Then I get fl flour and then I have figurines. After I finish all the tasks, I will get a booth, uh, I will get a chest and opening the chest will give me 51 scrolls for upgrading my, my technology and I will get four gems and probably some gold, 213 gold. So that's quite a big chest that I got from Otto and now Otto will be out of my town for the next 22 hours. So I will have to save every penny I get, every 
uh, gold in order to build more buildings once my library is finalized. Uh, I have a lot of hands because I upgraded my chicken coop is now level 2 and uh, I finally had, have a, a good feeling about the game. So in the near future we will go through the basics of the game. Maybe I'll prepare some, some videos about tips and tricks how to effic efficientize your town and how to get better um, at the game in general. Now coming back to the hearts and to the rankings in the valley because I promise that if you go right here and tap the um, this blue button here that shows all the team, all the Valley members, you can see that the first three uh, members have some specific um, icons in front of their name. So the first one is Rad, he's the Valley leader, and the next two have some um, yellow, yellow thingies in front of their names, which means that they are elders. To be elders, you're promoted automatically if you are in top three in the valley when it comes to prestige. I used to be an elder until today, until these guys really started kicking it off and playing a lot and they um, of a, yeah, surpassed me, so now I'm in position four. However, position four gives you the possibility to be elected as a leader. I'm not an elder, so I cannot start a leader vote, but if I would be a leader, I could press this button right here, and people could vote for a new leader of the valley in case you want to do a riot and you are, want to overtake the uh, valley from somebody you can just start a vote and you become the new leader but that's not something you should do you need to collaborate well in the valley because that's what this game is all about this was the episode this is the the basics of the valley I will continue with this series and as soon as something pops out in my city or the valley you will see a new episode hit the like button, hit the subscribe and leave a comment if you like this series and we will definitely continue. Until next time, take care of yourself, play the game, it's awesome, take care, see you and bye bye.